Well, there is good news and bad news. The good news is that new cars are finally back in stock at dealerships. The bad news is that they are very expensive. So expensive, in fact, that many Wall Street analysts are wondering whether ordinary people can afford to buy a car. Are car prices too high? The average price of a new car purchase is now more than $48,000. That is up from $39,000 just two years ago. The price of new cars and trucks rose percent in 2022, according a report by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Why did this number rise so much in just two years? And what should we expect in the future? With prices this high, can average Americans even afford a car these days? This video takes a closer look at car prices in the United States. What does this mean for the middle class? What does this mean for the future of the car industry? And, what does this mean for the future of the United States? But, before we get into all of that, please hit the like button and leave a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos. Thanks to getting some kinks worked out of the supply chain, new cars are now finally reaching dealerships. But the question is, can ordinary Americans afford them? The Federal Reserve is aggressively raising interest rates to fight inflation. And the United States economy teeters on the edge of recession. Consumers' budgets are tighter. The price of new cars keeps rising and it is now a lot higher than it was just one year ago. That combination could cut into demand and add new pressure to car makers. This at a time when automakers are already struggling with depleted inventories brought by the pandemic. The irony for the auto market is that just as the industry is poised to start seeing volumes increase from supply-constrained recession like low levels, said Cox Automotive Chief Economist Jonathan Smoke. But, now, the rapid movement in interest rates is reducing demand, continued Smoke. The average new vehicle loan interest rate in the US is now 7%. That rate is up 2 percentage points so far in 2022. The average loan interest rate for used cars is now 11%, which is also 2% higher than in January. All of this comes at a time when household budgets are being squeezed. Inflation is raging. Gasoline prices are back on the rise. Rents and mortgages are also still high despite talk of a declining housing market. That combination means a lot of Americans may no longer to be able to afford new cars just as they are now arriving on dealership lots. Interest rates are expected to keep rising. And, so are new car prices. The US Federal Reserve has raised the federal funds rate to 3.25%. And Wall Street analysts expect the federal funds rate to hit 4.6% before the rate increases subside. Something has to give. Automakers could offer financing deals and discounts. But carmakers promised Wall Street that they would not return to giving discounts. Business fleet and commercial vehicle sales also increased in Q3. Analysts usually see that as a sign that consumer demand is softening. Wall Street analysts would be concerned about that because retail sales to consumers are more profitable. Car makers had been banking on pent-up demand from the pandemic to carry over to the longer term. Fleet sales aren't necessarily as bad of a sign as they have been in the past, said Kristen Jicek, automotive policy advisor for the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago. There's a lot of pent-up fleet demand because fleets have been starved in favor of consumers, she said. Many government and large commercial fleets are paying sticker price for battery electric and hybrid vehicles to meet local emission standards, Jicek also noted. Increases in both inventory levels and fleet orders are now rising simultaneously. The total inventory of new cars in the US increased to 1.43 million in September. That is the highest inventory level since May 2021 and it is an increase of 160,000 units from the previous month. We continue to believe that the sales weakness over the past year plus is a function of limited inventory, analyst John Murphy said in a note to investors. Persistent raging inflation could cause new car demand to soften. Weak consumer confidence is causing Americans to cut back on discretionary spending. But, new cars are not always seen as discretionary, since a car is a necessity. Cox Automotive analysts reduced their new vehicle sales forecast to 13.7 million for 2022. That is the second time Cox reduced the full-year estimate this year. And, that is the smallest number of new cars sold in a single year in the US since 2012. Lower production and profits could further stress the supply chain, which may lead to bankruptcies and further inventory disruptions, added Cox analyst Jonathan Smoke. 
Price increases on new cars are continuing to rise, but at a slower pace for now. Average purchase prices for new cars rose 6.3% in September saw the average price of a new car in the U.S. rise 6.3% to $46,000. Overall, 2022 has seen new car prices rise at record levels of 17.5% and 14.5%. To make up for lower sales, automakers have been focusing on producing their most expensive vehicles, which are also their most profitable, Smoke added. That, combined with rising interest rates, is pushing more car shoppers to look at used vehicles, Smoke also noted. The average car loan amount for new vehicles in the U.S. hit a record of $41,347 in Q3. That figure was $40,602 in Q2 of this year and it was $38,315 in Q3 of 2021. The average monthly car payment for new cars is now above $700 for Q3. 14% of all new car loans in the U.S. exceeded had a monthly payment of more than $1,000. Not surprisingly, that is an all-time high. Inventory can be a bit tenuous, but it feels like maybe it's going to get better and not necessarily worse," said Jessica Caldwell, executive director of Insights at Edmunds. This comes at an interesting time, because now it feels like there may actually be a bit of trouble on the demand because of higher prices," Caldwell continued. Also higher interest rates and the questions of whether we're in a recession or not, Caldwell added. I do not expect new vehicle pricing to ease anytime soon, if ever," said Cox Automotive economist Charlie Chesbro. Automakers are learning from the airlines to keep leaner inventories so they can increase profits. I don't know that there's any return to normal. I think we're just at a new normal," Chesbro said. Used car prices are declining now for the first time since the start of the pandemic. But interest rates on used cars are higher. So, that makes used cars seem more expensive than they should be. Cox Automotive maintains what they call the Mannheim Used Vehicle Value Index. That index tracks prices of used vehicles sold at its United States at wholesale auctions. And the index is showing that the average value of a car sold at auction in the U.S. has fallen about 13% so far in 2022. But even with that decrease, prices remain high and affordability low because of higher interest rates. The U.S. average for the price of a vehicle bought with a loan is over $31,000. That level is closer to new vehicle prices than is it is for used cars and trucks, according to Edmunds. There just aren't a lot of good options, Caldwell said. Used doesn't present itself as a good option, really, unless you can find something with a lower interest rate, Caldwell added. If you recall from earlier videos in this series, new vehicle prices hit an all-time record high in August. This follows strong demand despite rising interest rates. Average car sale transaction prices reached a record $46,259. Car prices have skyrocketed in the last two years. But, cars are no longer cheap. But, what do you think? Please hit the like button and leave a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.